Hi class, so today we are going to discuss a new lesson about division. So for the learning outcome today, so it's to divide three to four digit numbers by two digit numbers without and with regrouping. So our divisor now is two digit. All right. Okay, so the parts of division, so let's have a short review. So we have here the dividend, 11 divided by two is equal to remainder is equal to five remainder one. So if we will write it uh, using the long division or in our division house, so they call it division house so here. So 11 goes inside it and then two here on the side and the answer or the quotient is on top. So uh, here we have the dividend, cost, uh, device or quotient and the remainder. So there are uh, some numbers, it's um, no remainder. For some it has extra number and we call it the remainder. So before we solve the problem, uh, story problems in the next slide, so let's have a short review about um, the problem solving strategy. So we call it cubes. Okay, C is for circle the numbers or after you read the problem and you understand it, so you have to find out what are the given. So those are the numbers in the problem. And then, U is underline the question. So, of course, the question it is this, uh, part of the sentence that has a question mark, like how many kilograms are there or how many um, apples in each basket, something like that. So, what am I asked or what am I being asked to solve? So, that's the question. And then B is box the keyword. So, there are uh, action words or keywords in math and it will tell you if you're going to subtract, to add, multiply, or divide. So let's say for a, uh, one example is in subtraction, take away, and then also subtract. And for multiplication or multiply, like that. And then for division is to divide, and then other keyword is each, or equally divided, something like that. And then for E, eliminate extra information. So sometimes in a word problem, there are extra words or the informations that you need. You don't need to solve. That will not help you to solve the problem. And then evaluate. So what steps do I take? So find out what are the steps that you need to do to be able to solve the problem. Or, uh, and the last one is, again, S or show your work or solve. So this is the part where you will use your notebook or pen to solve and get the answer. We call it the solution. Okay, and last, in division, you can also check if your answer is correct by multiplying the quotient and the divisor. And so, and then go back to the problem, read the problem, and check if you really answered the given question. All right. So let's start. So the first problem is, sorry, problem is Annie will repack 2,140 assorted candies into 21 packs. So again, we have here circle. So circle the numbers. So we have 2,142 and 21 packs. And then we have here the question. So the question is how many pieces will be in each pack? So let's say you will use uh, loot bags to um, or you will make root bags for candy. So how much, how many pieces will be in each? So this is our clue word, each. And since we have the clue word already, we need to find out how many candies are in each pack. So that means it, this problem is division. Okay. So here we have 2,142 divided by 21. So again, the higher number goes inside here inside the division house and the smaller number outside. I have here the steps. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat, or remainder. And I also put here the multiplication table of 21 so that it would be easier for us to solve. You can also do repeated addition if you want or if you need to, if you don't know how to do the multiplication table of 21. But you can do it one at a time, so trial and error. Like 21 times 4, 21 times 5, 21 times 6, something like that. So let's start with, since we have two digits um, divisor, of course, we will use two-digit number also inside. But first, we have to check 
if the first two digit is equal or greater than the divisor. So since 21 is equal to 21, so that means we can divide them. If it is not, then we move to the next number. Okay, so 21. So our rule, the one I uh, teach you last time is find out which number here in our skip counting is close to 21 or equal to 21. So it's here. Right? So it means there is only one in 21. So the same number, right? And if they have the same number, if they are the same number, the answer is one. We have 21 divided by 21 is one. And then multiply it together. So one times 21 is 21. And then subtract. So that's step three, subtract. So 21 minus 21 is zero. And then next is step four, bring down. Bring down four. So again, bring down one number at a time. Okay, so four divided by 21. Or how many four, how many 21 are there in four? Okay, so in our skip counting, we cannot see here four. The lowest is 21. Okay, so that means there's no 21 in four. So we put zero. Okay, so again, another thing is if the dividend is smaller than the divisor, since we are dividing whole numbers, so we just put zero here. Okay, and then zero times 21 is zero. Subtract, so we have four. And step four, bring down two. Okay, and now we have the new device dividend is 20, uh, 42. So 42 divided by 21. So how many 21s are there in 42? So let's go back to our skip counting here or multiplication table. So we can see that 42 here is equal to 42. And there it's in 21 times 2. So 2 goes up here. In our divid, uh, divide, divid quotient. And then 42 here. Or 21 times 2 is 42. And then minus, so we have here 42 minus 42 is 0. And there's no more digit here after 2, so that's the final answer, 102. To check, if you want to be sure if your answer is correct, we can do checking. So how are we going to do that? So multiply 102 quotient and 21 the divisor. If the answer is 2,142, then our answer is correct. Okay, so let's start. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, or 102 times 1 is 102. Okay, let's proceed with the tens digit. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 0 is 2, I mean 2 times 0 is 0 rather, and then 2 times 1 is 2. And then add the partial products, so we have 2, 4 plus 0 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 1, and bring down 2. Okay, so it's the same. 2,142. So that's the final answer. Quotient is 102. So let's go back to our question earlier. How many candies will be in each bag? The answer is 102 candies in one bag or in one pack. All right. So that's it. It's our first example. So next example. So Emma is a flu. Florist, so she has 255 roses. If she put the flowers equally to 23 vases, how many flowers will be in each vase? So again, the given number here is this way. It's here 255 and 23 vases. So 255 roses. So she will divide it equally or she will put it equally into 23 vases. So how many? will be in each okay in each vase okay so let's try to solve so again this is division so 255 divided by 250 so 255 here inside and 23 here outside okay let's start let's check if the first two digit is higher than the divisor 23 25 is higher than 23? Yes. So which one in our skip counting is close to 25? So obviously it's 23. 46 is too much. So it means there is only one 23 in 25. Or 25 divided by 23 is 1. 
And then 1 times 23 is 23. Or if you have the skip counting here, you can see that 23, I just put it here under 25, and 1, I put it here on top. Okay. And subtract step 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So don't need, we don't need to put 0 here. And next is bring down 5. So bring down 5, we have now the new dividend is 25. So the same number earlier. So 25 divided by 23, or it's close to 23. So there's 1. And then 1 times 23 is 23. Subtract, so we have 2. And the last digit is already here. So that means no more digit after 5. So it's remainder 2. So this will be our remainder. So stop here already. Checking. Let's see. 11 times 23 is 33. And then, I mean, 11 times 3 is 33. 11 times 2 is 22. So let's add it together. We have 3, 5, and 2. It's only 253. Our given number is 255. So does that mean that our, the answer is wrong? Okay. So we are not yet done checking. We have to add the remainder. So 253 plus the remainder 2. And there we have 255. And it will make our answer correct. So this is how you check it, um, the answer if there is remainder. So add the remainder after. You multiply the quotient and the divisor. So for the final answer, we have 11 remainder 2. Easy, right? So again, don't write 11.2. This will be wrong. So don't forget to write um, R. So 11 R2. So not 11.2. Okay, 11 remainder, remainder 2. So I hope you are learning something and I hope you can follow in our discussion. So let's proceed to our next example. Third example. Right. So Amy gives the cashier 400 pesos to pay for 18 marker pens. So how much does one marker pen cost if she receives a change of 4 pesos? So again, let's do it one at a time. So in circle, the given number. So we have 400 and 18 pens or marker pens. 418. But there's another number here, which is 4. Okay, let's find out what to do. So how much does one marker pen cost? So that's the question. So one marker, how much? Okay. And then she received a change of 4 pesos. Okay. Now, there is no word here like each or divide. But if we will read the question... And, and we will read and understand the question. It says here, how much does one marker cost? So it means we are looking for the price of one marker pen. So of course, we will still do division here. And for the four, let's check later if the change is re uh, really four. Okay, if that's correct. So we will not use four in solving. All right. So 400 divided by 18. So again, I have here the skip counting of 18 or the multiplication to the table of 18. So 18 and then 400. So again, if you don't have um, skip counting of multiplication table of 18, you can also use this method. So 18. So this is the first one. So 18 plus 18. And the answer that will be the second answer. So 18 plus 18 is 6. 16 carry 1, so 36. So I'm just showing you the step by step. So 36 is the second answer. So again, plus 18. So we have here 14 carry 1, and we have 5. So 54 is the third answer. Okay, and you can also add 18. One more, one more 18. So it will become 12 carry 1, so 5, 6, 72. So this will be the fourth 18. So either way, the answer is just the same. Okay, 18 times 1 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. 18 times 3 is 54. 18 times 4 is 72. Okay, so it's up to you. Next is let's divide now. 
So I will just change the color of my pen. Okay. So again, we have 18 is as our divisor, so two digits. So that means we will also use two digits in our dividend. So 40. So we use 40. Okay. So let's check. Is 40 higher than 18? Yes. So that means we can divide it by 18. Left, uh, 40 divided by 18, or let's just look at our skip counting here. Which one is close to 40? So it's obviously it's 36, right? Because, it, because 54 is too much. So 36 here, and it's on in 18 times 2. So that means we will put 2 here on top of 0. Or here we have 18 plus 18, 36. So 2. Okay, same, same number. And then we have to multiply. So 18 times 2. The answer is already here, 36. It's the good thing. It's also a good thing if you have the skip counting here or the multiplication table. Because you don't need to multiply again 18 times 2. What's the answer? So all you have to do is look at the multiplication table here and you have the answer already in 18 times 2. Right? Or 18 put you put 18 here at uh, 36 here and then 2 up here in our quotient area. And then we need to um, subtract. So in subtracting 40 and 36, you can easily solve it mentally, right? So the answer is 4. But for some students, they really get confused with 0 times uh, 0 minus 6. They put 6 sometimes. But again, you cannot subtract 6 from 0. So you will borrow. If you need to borrow, okay, it's okay, no problem. Just borrow, and this will become 10. Okay, I don't mind if you need to borrow still in 40, 40 minus 36. All right. And that you can also solve this mentally, like 40 minus 36 is 4. And next is bring down the next digit, which is 0. And we have the new device or a dividend, which is 40. Okay. 40 divided by 18, so again, it's just the same. So that means that we will still use 36. So we have here 2 and 36. So let's subtract. So again, you can borrow or you can just subtract 40 minus 36 is 4. Okay, so it's up to you. So there's no more digit here after zero. So that means our answer is 22 remainder four, right? But let's go back to the question. The question is how much, how much does one marker cost? And to receive a change of four pesos. So let's check if it's correct. Four pesos is the change. All right, here the remainder is four. So that means this is correct. The change is 4, okay? And the marker uh, is 22 pesos. So we have it correct. So the answer is correct. 22 pesos each and change is 4 pesos, okay? If you need to check, you can use multiplication to check if your answer is correct. Let's have another example. So as you can see here, we have our dividend is fifth. Uh, our divisor is fifteen, and our dividend is one thousand twenty-three. Let's just extend this line. All right. So I will again show you the skip counting or the multiplication table of fifteen. But you can use addition. So fifteen plus fifteen is thirty. So this is two. This is one. So you can use that. Or you can also, so we have here 45, so this is the third one. If you don't have um, the multiplication table like this, like the one I showed on the screen, you can do trial and error, so I'll show you later. Let's go here. So 10, okay, you can put zero. So one, a 10, uh, we have two digits here, so we will use two digit device. Uh, and the dividend also. So 10 is is 10 higher than 15? Greater than 15? No. So that means there is no 15 in 10. So we move to the next number. Sometimes they use like 
1 divided by 15 cannot be or 0. 10 divided by 15, 0 are also. There's no 15 in 10. And in 102, there is. Okay. If you don't have this uh, multiplication table here on the side, you can use um, trial and error. So it's 102, so that means it's a little bit bigger. It's a bigger, no, it's a big number. So we can use uh, 15. So we can use 15 and then estimate. So let's say 15 times 5, 15 times 6, something like that. So it's, let's say 15 times 6. Okay, so the answer is 3. 30 and then 6, so 90. So 90 is almost close to 110. But let's try one, uh, 7. So 15 times 7. So 35, so it's 5 and carry 3 and then 10. Okay, and 15 times 7 is 105. The given number is 102. So that means 105 is too much. So we will not use one uh, 7. So we go back to 90. Or if you have here the multiplication table of 15, so it's close to 90, right? 105 is more than the given number. So we will not use that. So 90. Okay, so this one is another strategy for division if you don't have the multiplication table of 15. So 90. Okay, and 90 is in the sixth place. So let's write 6 here and 90. So I'm just going, I'm, I will just erase this so that I could write something for the instruction. No, please give me some time to delete this. All right. So here we have 102 minus 90. So there are two possible ways to solve that. So either you borrow. Or you just count upward. So 2 minus 0 is 2. And then 0 minus 9 cannot be. So we use 10. So it's here we have. You didn't need to borrow in. Like because if you borrow here. 0 borrow from 1. So it will become 10. So let's just use 10 minus 9. So it's 1. Okay. There. And we have 12. The answer is 12. And the next thing to do is to bring down 3. Okay, our next dividend is 123. So let's look at our multiplication table here and find out which number is closer to 123. So there are two possible answers, 120 and 135. But 135 is more than 123. So 120. Let's choose 120. Okay. So 120, it's in the 8th place or 15 times 8. We put 8 here. And 120 here. Oh, I forgot to put the multiplication sign here. And let's subtract them. So we have 3. And their last digit is already here. So no more digits after 3. So that means our remainder is 3. So 68, remainder 3. So let's go back to the question earlier. Oh, there's no question. <laughs> All right. So the given number is 1023 1, divided by 15. So the answer is 68 remainder 3. All right. So it's so there you go. So back to your final answer. So it would be easier for the teacher to see or to check. I mean to see your answer. So that's all for the two digit division. So I hope you learned something. So your um one of the competencies today is to um find time to practice to learn the competency which is the long division. So I encourage everyone to practice because we always say the practice makes progress. So and eventually you will be able to master the lesson. Our topic is long division. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, and see you in class.